Brain Abscess Brain abscess is a rare medical condition when an area of the brain becomes infected and filled with pus caused by a bacterial, fungal, or parasitic infection that spreads to the brain. The most common bacteria are Streptococcus and Staphylococcus. Fungal infections are usually seen in people with weakened immune systems, such as HIV, AIDS or cancer. Parasitic infections causing brain abscesses are rare. This condition should be attended to promptly and appropriately. The infection can spread from an infection in another part of the body, such as the lungs or heart, from a head injury or surgery, or in some instances, from an untreated dental or ear infection. The symptoms of brain abscess can vary depending on the location and size of the abscess. Common symptoms include headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, seizures, weakness or numbness in the arms or legs, changes in vision or speech, confusion or disorientation, personality changes, or loss of consciousness. Diagnosing brain abscesses can be challenging because of the similarity of the symptoms to other conditions, such as meningitis or encephalitis. Medical history, physical exam, and imaging tests, such as a CT scan or MRI, are requested to make the diagnosis. A lumbar puncture to collect cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, for testing and culture can help determine the causative agent and plan treatment. The treatment of brain abscesses typically involves a combination of antibiotics and surgery. Antibiotics are used to treat the infection and prevent it from spreading. The type of antibiotic used will depend on the causative agent. Surgery is often necessary to remove the abscess and relieve pressure on the brain. The type of surgery used will depend on the location and size of the abscess. A small incision may be made in the skull to drain the abscess. However, a larger incision may be needed to remove the abscess and any surrounding infected tissue. In addition to antibiotics and surgery, supportive care may be needed to manage symptoms and prevent complications, including medications to control seizures, fluids, and electrolytes to maintain hydration and electrolyte balance.